Hey everyone, it's Robotus here, and uh, yeah, I'm finally going to be uploading a little bit more content to my channel. Uh, it's been a few months since I posted my Oriana guide, and I've gotten a ton of positive feedback and suggestions, uh, one of which was to record some gameplay. So I've been pretty busy, but I think I finally have the time um, to get a little bit of Oriana gameplay uploaded for you guys, so hopefully this game goes well enough to upload. The team is pretty scary, and I probably wouldn't have picked Oriana into it, but you know, you gotta do it for the fence. I'm actually almost up to, I think I'm about 75 subscribers now off the one Oriana guide, which is super crazy, so thank you everyone to, who subscribed to me. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep uploading stuff, so if you want more gameplay after I post this one, uh, let me know. Or if you want something else, that's fine too. Um, I know that the mic I'm using right now isn't as good as the one in my video uh, guide. I'm not uh, at my current setup right now. So I'm on a laptop with a different headset. Um, so I apologize for that and I hope it's not too uh, distracting. So I guess let's talk about the game. It looks like I'm leaning against Gangplank, which is an okay matchup for me. He has exhaust. Uh, I took barrier. Normally, I would take ghost. I'm kind of experimenting with the ghost. I like it a lot uh, since it's buffs. A lot of mid laners are taking ghost nowadays. Um, but I took barrier in this game because Rengar is terrifying, and I don't want to get blown up by him. I'm probably going to be going hourglass early anyways, but the barrier is going to keep me safe early on especially. So that's why I did that. So into GP, since GP always starts Q, I'm going to take shield first because he's going to try to Q me and uh, pressure me early. But who's your support? Is the GP support? Uh, I'm not sure who's mid. If it's Aurelia mid, then I'm going to take Q first to pressure her because um, I can pressure her before she hits level 2. I'm going to take shield second for sure though, because she's going to start all inning me if she is mid, I have no idea. Alright. Follow the Blitzcrank. We have, looks like a Shaco one trick. Um, so we'll see if he can start pestering the Rengar. Rengar does get low in his first clear, I think, so maybe Shaco can punish him. Oh. Okay. It's support Aurelia, okay. Alright, so I am against GP. So I guess the first plan applies. So I'm gonna take shield first because if he tries to Q me, I'm just gonna keep shielding the Qs. And then I'll uh, take Q second. So, I don't know if you guys have been watching Worlds, but a lot of the Orianas at Worlds have been going Merlinomicon and Rylai's early, which I think is okay, it's interesting. Um, and uh, it's definitely a legitimate build, it's just not, not what I prefer to do. See, I can just shield the, the Qs. I still like the Rod of Ages build, so I'm going to uh, stick with that probably this game. Did I miss one? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, let's go. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like he gave up on poking because I took shield first. Oh, I missed another. So now I'm gonna throw the ball out. You know, just keep pressure. Um, just pull it back to me if things get a little out of hand. So I was a little uh, weary. Man, he's trying really hard. I was a little weary if that barrel's gonna hit me or not, so I decided to shield just in case. Okay, nice. So I put the ball on Shaco, you know, move it into a really good position so I can get the Q off really quickly, and then uh, get the free flash. Miss the cannon, that sucks. But it's alright. 
I think uh, getting a Thunderbolt proc off on him was uh, worth the loss of the cannon. Missing a lot of CS today. Okay, I'm not really scared of early Rengar gank just because I have a barrier. So I'm going to take the risk and just keep pressuring him. I don't think he's going to be able to. Yeah. So I got the nice little Thunderbolt proc on him right there. And uh, he's having a hard time hitting his barrels, which is pretty good. He's got one more corrupting pot left. If he stayed, um, he's either just getting greedy for creeps or Rengar's on his way. I'm gonna stick towards top side of the map because I have more vision over there. Okay, he's not even low anymore, so he's probably just gonna stay. I'll just let him hit this barrel, it's not worth it. Okay, that was where he kinda just like took that. Looks like he's just gonna hold the barrel for now. Maybe I can cheese it. Okay, yeah. So at this stage of the game, GP barrels don't hit very hard, so I can just shield off the damage. It's really important um, to use that, that command protect to uh, win you trades. Alright, so I almost killed him. If he didn't have his oranges up, he definitely would have died to my auto attack. I think Shake was just gonna kill him. I'm gonna shield him for the assist. Ooh. Okay. And also to keep him alive because he's gonna flash to get out. So GP Nut has no summoners, and I'm gonna be able to deny him two waves, which is sweet. Here's support Aurelia to uh, oh, please stop. Oh, she has ignite. She's pretty scary. Okay, good. So we got 25 CS lead, which is great. I'm gonna go back by a catalyst. I was a little scared she was gonna chase me. I'm gonna go back by a catalyst. And then uh, I should be able to just bruiser out GP for the rest of the lane. Because the thing about catalyst, which is really good, is uh, it makes Orianna just not like one of those burst casters anymore, right? Like if you go Namakon, like the worlds Orianna's are doing, um, you're pretty squishy, which is probably like fine for worlds and stuff, but for general gameplay, I really like the uh, the bruiser kind of attributes that a catalyst gives Orianna in the lane. It makes her really hard to gank, and she can s pressure out uh, squishy people a lot. Like this GP, he's got like 850 health, he's got a cull and a corrupting pot. I'm gonna be able to just bully him. He won't be able to touch me. So I'll just shield myself right there, because see all the creep damage that I was about to take? Because I shielded myself after autoing him, I didn't take the creep damage at all. Alright, so I missed that barrel, so we're just going to kite, and just use our mana, heal back up, I can take Q's, it's fine. Over time I'm going to be able to out heal him, even with his uh, oranges. And if he walks too close to get a creep, I'll just hit him with an ult and he'll die. GP Alta. Probably to bot. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Oops. I want him to walk into that box. That's a pretty good box. I like that. So just using the Thunderbolt proc whenever it's up. Work in the catalyst. Rengar is going to have ult soon, so we have to be wary of that. Yeah. So he got a little too uh, happy feet there. Just tried to juke me too much, and I just kept hitting him. Okay, I should be fine here. Yeah. 
So he just doesn't have enough damage through the barrier. And then he took some tower shots, which is kind of weird. Alright, so we're gonna go for Freezy Gunblade, because I can afford that. And it'll be really good into uh, their chasing power. Because they don't have a lot of uh, hard engage, so they kind of just have to like GP ult people or Rengar ult, Rengar ult people and run at us. So being able to use that big active slow is going to be super great for uh, us in team fights. And now Rengar has no ult too, so... Yeah, that was a really big auto attack right there because I cracked the revolver. <laughs> oh. Let's get that. Alright. Off we go to pressure the GP some more. Now I have to be careful still because I have no barrier now. So, uh, Rengar ult will be up before I get my barrier back, so I need to drop my vision. Yeah, he wasn't really ready for that. <laughs> he was just too squishy. Okay, so we're gonna try to do a little roam here. Because I don't want to be in lane, I don't really feel like the turret damage is going to be impactful enough, so I'm going to head to bot just in case bot gets killed by Rengar. I want to be there. Okay, so now we can probably do dragon after Shaco does red. So I'm just going to take this scuttler while we group up. Okay, so Rengar went top. I want to know if Rengar ulted though. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, uh, why did he leave it? Alright. I think this should be fine here. I don't want to lose the midwave. That gin shot, the ult right there, it was kind of... I, I felt like it was a little bit out of the range, but... Oh well. If it really had kept running, I think I would have just had to blow shockwave. And it would have been fine. Oh, he didn't have mana. Okay. Ah. Oh, hello. I have barrier now, so... Uh... Nope, not enough. <laughs> I was a little bit too aggressive there. I kind of thought in the back of my head Rengar must have ult the top, but he didn't. So I got pretty wrecked by that. My bad for sure. Alright, nice. So I'm just gonna finish up my gunblade, grab boots so I can start getting my CDR, because Oriana really needs CDR. And when you go Rod of Ages, um, you definitely lack that cooldown reduction that you do from going first item Morello. And I don't run CDR runes, so I need to get all my CDR from Boots and Namakana afterwards. From my experience, it's been okay to get the CDR a little bit later. Uh, it hasn't really been a huge deal for me. So yeah. So now I can uh, show off the Freezy Gunblade a little bit. Pretty excited for that. So because he was slowed right there, Blitz got like a free hug. Like it, it's it's a pretty big slow, right? What is it? Uh, 65%, holy cow, that's a big slow. Yeah, it's a big slow. Uh, let's go top. Plus it's going to be up in 20 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of deep vision. Oh, and I don't have... Link. Okay, let's do it. Oh boy, it's 
is gonna hurt, isn't it? Alright. He has a mallet, he doesn't have enough damage to kill me. Okay, so we went one for one. Is someone here? Oh, I'm just doing. I don't want to walk into the bush in case he has a trap there. Alright. So I flashed just in case he had more damage, more burst damage. I think I should be okay if she does. Okay. But yeah, he only has a mallet, so he takes a lot of damage. So, um, the important thing I did up there is like, even though I was running away, I was still using all my cooldowns, you know, keep throwing out spells, shielding, queuing, you know, because all that damage adds up, plus you get the healing a little bit, a little bit of healing from the, uh, the gunblade passive. So it's just, that's just what it's all about, you know, just keep using your cooldowns, and you can maybe turn kills. I'm gonna grab blue, got some more CDR now, so I'll be up to 30% temporarily with the blue buff. I'll probably just run back top, I think. I don't think Timo will be expecting that. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, you just use your uh, gunblade like it's a fifth spell. Oops. Maybe do some fishing here. No, oh, not again. Oh, that's a lot of goons, eh? So I remember when I said using allies as bait. This is what we're gonna try to do. So we get two for free, just off the shock wave. And yeah. So even though Rumble died, since uh, Teemo and... Uh, I forget who the other one was, but they uh, jumped on Rumble. It gave me a free shockwave, so I just waited for them to to jump the Rumble because they were they were pretty split for a little bit there in that fight. So I was I didn't want to like force an ult. I didn't want to like feel like I was forced into the shockwave. But uh, once they grouped up, it was good to go. Uh, free red. Some things are happening. So I think I missed Teemo with my Gunblade, but I think I slowed everyone else, which was good. So we just waited for the exhaust to wear off. And then we used our spells. I only hit GP with the alt, but um, I chunked him hard enough. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, so I'm a little bit boom. We're just gonna back out, I think. I can get a lot of items, so I'll probably just do that. So we'll get the Namakan now, we got all our CDR, and uh, I think we are strong enough, we can just get a hat now. Just we'll start maximizing our damage out, just try to one-shot people. Ooh. Oh, almost got him. Oh, everybody's dying. Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. Alright, maybe this game won't end in a stomp after all. <laughs> We'll see. Alright, so I still have to be careful for Ranger Alt. I have Flash coming up soon. So I'm not super scared. 
Uh, Blitz could maybe go for the sec. I'm pretty worried though. I don't want to be out this far without uh, teammates when everyone on their team is off the map. So I might just do uh, the birds or something. Okay. So GPS is level 2 ult, so he's gonna be, he's got some impact on him a little bit. He's got his CDR going. Probably could just shove mid in. Shaco's just gonna start blasting Bane, I guess. Alright, so, no, the turret. I'm always thinking. Yeah, let's just focus the turret then. I think Timo kind of gave up, maybe. Alright. Pull the ball back to me from behind me so that it's in a better position. And then we can probably go. I mean, probably just anywhere at this point. Probably top, or bot, sorry, since Rumble is pushing that in. Um, did they quit? What happened? Yeah. So I was a little bit off screen there, but they just like ran into Blitzcrank and gave me another free ult. So, I don't know. I'm telling you, people just walk into them, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't even have to try. I might surrender. I mean, even though the game was kind of a stomp, I think it was... It was a, uh, a pretty good game for Oriana. I think uh, I did pretty well. It's just like that slowing power is just insane. You see that? It's crazy. It slows for days. Who needs Rallies when you can get crazy Gunblade? And it does damage. This poor GP can't hit barrels, it's hilarious. Oh. Oh. So I did the flash move, which is pretty funny. <laughs> so I, I uh, R flashed them. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, guys, um, I might upload another game um, if you guys want it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the short game that it was. But I think I, uh, I demonstrated pretty well a lot of the stuff that I talked about in my guide. If you want me to follow up on anything I may have said in the video or uh, have any other questions, feel free to let me know in a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.